Not sure if you should get the Sutro or the Sutro eye shade? Watch this video and you'll know by the end. Hey everybody, this is Sunglass Rob from Sport RX, and I'm here with Andrew, our in-house Oakley ambassador, to talk about the differences of the Sutro and the new Sutro eye shade. But real quick, if you're liking this type of content, you should subscribe to our YouTube channel because we're always talking about the freshest, dopest Oakleys and sunglasses out there. All right, so first was the Sutro, yep. and it blew our minds. Yep, came out early last year, quickly, uh, very popular frame, you yeah. know, got a lot of attention right off the bat for obvious reasons. Because they're amazing yeah. and they're fun and they're functional. So like they work really well on the bike or doing sports or hiking or baseball or whatever, but you get this like super retro vintage kind of funky shield kind of thing happening. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's, it's awesome. So, yeah. so then this year we have the Sutro eye shade. So you can see the differences here. Um, fit wise, it's gonna be the, Exact they're they're identical yeah. frame, yeah, yeah, identical frame, but what we did, or what mm -hmm. we did, I didn't do it, Oakley did it, thank you, Oakley, is they went, uh, why not go even more retro? So they're kind of inspired by the eye shade. If you don't know what the eye shade is, that was like one of the first sunglasses Oakley made in the early 80s, I think 1984, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Right and they had kind of similar colors to what we're wearing now, so they kind of made a Sutro eye shade inspired kind of setup, and it has the um, venting. What do you call these? You know the technical terms better I than call, I do. I just call them porthole vents. Por Did you make that up, or is uh, that technical? Maybe I made it. Hey, why not? It's YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we got the porthole vents here in the glasses, and that's what the original eye shades had. And then we have what's called the factory pilot logo. This is like the original old school way of writing Oakley. Um, some of the factory pilot goggles have that. They have that on the glasses here. It just really looks like you mashed up the, the stylistic version of the eye shades from back in the day with the Sutro, which was already made to look a little retro. So right. it's kind of like the super retro. Now, here's the thing to know. The eye shade version from what I've heard from my friends at Oakley, super limited, not gonna be around forever. Mm -hmm. It's like this cool drop that's gonna come out. If you're thinking about getting them and you, they're available, get them. Because yep. it's not gonna be like, oh, I'll wait till next month. The regular Sutros should be around for a while. That's like gaining more and more traction. The eye shade is just like a quick, fun thing happening. So yep. if you wanna get a pair, get a pair. And I think yeah. we pre-booked a bunch of them because we have a feeling yeah. that they're just gonna crush it. I'm kind of loving this teal color. Yeah, a bunch of, bunch of cool colorways with this. Yeah. So again, differences are colorways. If you, uh, they both have prism lens options. Um, you both, both have the saddle bridge, all the same frame features. Um, but yeah, just kind of more of a retro. Yeah, so you get the old school logo and you get the, the porthole port venting, but everything else is the same and the yep. colors are different, of course. So mm -hmm. hopefully that helped you with your decision making process. If you should get the Sutro or the Sutro eye shade or both, maybe they should both. be both. Probably both. Different if colors, really it, just both. like rock it. Yeah, why not? Yeah, so if this video was helpful, please give us a thumbs up, uh, like us, subscribe to us, watch us on Instagram, all that stuff. We love you back. Bye.